hello guys welcome to my channel uh for those of you asking me how i was be able to uh, to mount my engine uh i do want to show you guys how i did that and if this is your first time here please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification icon so if i upload new video about the benson b1 ultra light helicopter you will be notified this is how i was be able to create this engine mount um this engine mount was i was able to get this engine mount from mercedes benz 190e um which is uh i got it to be three i got the, the engine seats three pieces and this hang here i was be able to construct this engine hanger myself it's made of uh, uh anguba i was be able to construct it this way and i create a mount and if you want to see the last mount because of um why i decided to create this engine mount for the front this engine mount why i decided to create it this way I have a reason because I want um, automatic tensioning. Should in case I want to tension the the belt, this is the engine. This is another engine mount towards the front, and this here would be a kind of a going to be a crankshaft because I want to run a kind of a key starter somewhere around here, so I can easily uh, key start the helicopter from the dashboard. Okay, and this one over here is the front engine mount, and um, I just want it to be this way because of tensioning. So if I install the automatic tensioning, bell tensioning, it can automatically tension the bell and also release the bell um, for any other thing. That, I can, you can easily call it clock, uh, clutch uh, actuator, okay? So that's how I was be able to construct this mount. Uh, actually, this is the Benson B1, and you can see the exhaust. I uh, was be able to construct this exhaust from this way. And I can shift back a little bit so you can have a closer look on it, so you can see it right now. I was able to shift back and you can see, I, um, to be sincere with you, I'm just constructing this helicopter in my spare space, uh, the little spare space in my house, just like a garage. And I was, um, I'm doing this construction, uh, taking it one step at a time. And this is that you can see it. Uh, I don't have much space for this area. And you can see the way I mount the engine and everything is there. So the transmission system, I want to create a uh, construct a transmission seat somewhere around here. Where I'm going to mount the transmission system, uh, it will take power from the engine, from the main engine shaft to the transmission system somewhere here, and from the transmission system we we'll get a kind of vertical shaft to the main rotor itself. Okay, so this is how it looked like for now. And um, again, uh, this video most uh, importantly is about how the engine is being mounted and seat properly. And again, the next video I will do is about how. I'm going to install the alternator to charge the battery and power all the lightings in the helicopter. The dashboard is ready and we have other things like uh, the power management ship is also ready. We have a lot of things. Early warning system is also ready and GPS blown up so we can easily navigate um, no matter the darkness of, of, of the night, no matter how bad the weather is, you can be able to navigate as an ultralight pilot and that is how it's supposed to be. So let me just give it, let me go back a little bit so you can see how this helicopter looks like. Uh, this is it. And I have the blueprint for this helicopter. Um, I'll show you everything step by step. I'll do another uh, kind of uh, video showing you the design of the helicopter, how I was be able to construct the helicopter, how I did everything step by step. Everything is right in there. And you can go ahead and construct it on your own from the comfort of your home. And this is the helicopter once again. And it happens to be the best so far i have been able to design and construct this helicopter from the comfort of my home taking one step at a time and people do ask me why did i decided to use the honda civic engine 1.5 liter engine the reason why i decided to use this engine it's um, it's very very important because the engine block is made of aluminium and you can see it here this is aluminium engine block and it can give me up to 6400 rpm and i can get like 84 kilowatts of power and that's so much more i can get uh i can get a reasonable torque uh, i think 135 uh, newton has a torque and every other thing about this engine is unique and it's four cylinder stretch reciprocating engine so a uh, some somehow similar rating to kind of like coming helicopter engine this can give you up to 128 horsepower which is very very good and strong and again weight to balance ratio of this ultra light helicopter is way way too balanced so make sure you subscribe to my channel so if i upload new video about this ultra helicopter you can keep uh, uh following this helicopter and 
you know you can see one or two things and also learn from it and that is it probably you can construct your own and share the video with us so let's also see and share ideas once again thank you so much my name is joseph benson make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell notification icon so if i have a new video again you will be notified thank you so much for your time i hope i will see you next video Bye bye